I would imagine that the evolution of uh, and the prevalence of social media adds and even heightens importance on managing uh, a, a corporate brand, an organizational brand. Um, to some degree, there are some things you can't control. What kinds of things or how can an organization control what is said about them uh, in social media? Uh, what, what kind of practices are, are effective in, in managing that reputation as best <coughs> as possible in the social media realm? I can, I can give an example about uh, one of our clients that we helped work through an issue uh, when they were attacked on Facebook. It was a national retailer in the automotive space. Uh, the woman came in, had an estimate done on her car, couldn't afford all of the repairs that were recommended, drove off the lot and something happened. And as it turns out, the long story short is that she was a professional extortionist online. And when we started to dig into her footprint online, we found that she would go after people and attack them and attack them, make outrageous demands. And anything short of our client paying some outrageous remittance to her, uh, she was not going to stop. And we went through the process with their operations person and the operations person being a lively personality out there. Can't we just go tell her to go herself? <laughs> And that applies to whatever you think, mister, do the opposite is how we ended up handling him. But the, the short of it was we actually addressed every single issue, every single attack that she made about this retailer online. And while she had been doing it for months and they couldn't get her to stop, we were able to take the wind out of her sails in two weeks. And she moved on to someone else. And she talked about how she was filing a report with the Better Business Bureau and we cordially wrote, thank you for doing that. It will test our brand. We looked at it as an opportunity to communicate what our brand was in the marketplace versus just having her continue to spout off and go on and on and on and on. And then someone looks for an automotive center online and says, where should I go? And all they see is her side of the story. So over time, we checked in with the Better Business Bureau. They investigated it. They closed the case. We made sure everybody knew that. Thank you for holding us to account for what we say our values are, and here's what happened. Well, I opened another case. Terrific. We're willing to work with the Better Business Bureau. Open, closed, again, we did that. Well, I tried calling your operations person. Thank you, oh Lord. <laughs> uh, but, uh, she said, I couldn't get a hold of anybody. I got the runaround. So we posted the operations guy's name and phone number on there saying, looking forward to talking to you. Every turn. We took the wind out of her sails, and gradually over time, she said, this is not worth it. I am not succeeding, and she moved on to somebody else. So that's one way to go about it online. 